Is it okay to be upset about that? I, know. I don't know what I would do without my mum. My mum was diagnosed with cancer. She would have to go into a hospice, and that's where she passed away from COVID, and we weren't allowed to see her. Um, so it was really, really difficult. This house is home to Venetia <laughs> and Elisha. Their sons, little Elisha, Zachariah and Josh. Their daughter, Faith, and Venetia's younger brother, Samuel, who joined the family two years ago. I moved into here because my mum suddenly passed away. I, I had to come somewhere. She's a really good sister. She's very nice. She's a very good cook. It's a big change. You must miss your mum now. Yeah, a lot. Does it make you sad? Yeah. Do you have anything here that reminds yes. you of home? This is with all my memories on it. Of mum? Yeah. Oh. My cousin smashed it. Oh, no. He dropped it by accident. Sad. Can you get any of it off? Uh, I can't turn it on. But this has got all your memories. Yeah. I lost my mum when I was uh, four years old. I know what it feels like, and I know what he's going through. He knows that he's loved. He knows that he is not alone. I look at him like a son. Is that your mum? Yeah. No. Oh. She's so happy, isn't she? In yeah. Just... My mum was everything to me, like everything. She said to me when she was alive, she was my best friend, and I didn't get that. But it's only when I lost her, I was like, you actually was. It's scary actually having to face up to tragedy and no, please don't be sorry. No, don't be sorry, please. My mum had me when she was 16. We were 16 years apart. We were like sisters. It was very, very shocking. She was only 48, beautiful, um, full of life. Don't be I know. Is it okay to be upset about that? I, I don't know what I would do without my mum. And what you're doing is incredible. I just can't believe that this is my story. <laughs> and uh, none of this means anything to me. Because you'd give it all to have your mum. Right? Yeah, it's just like nothing. It's just things, you know. <laughs> wow. wow. Looks properly homely. Yeah. Wait, oh my gosh. So, Mum's here. Yes. And we just wanted to have a lovely little place for her to be and for it to be the focus of the room. I really love it. So, this is your new bedroom. What? <laughs> what? Your stuff's over here, so you can't lose anything. Oh my god. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> I love it. And also, <laughs> we fixed your iPad. Yes! Yes! Wow. <laughs> that, yeah. that is... <sighs> oh. mm -hmm. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Mm. I don't think it's just the house and material things that makes it a home. I think that to make a house a home is the people that are living in the house.